What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to USPS Twan, where I take you guys unbiasedly with me along my journey as a United States Postal Service city carrier. So, um, if you guys didn't watch the last video I posted, I showed you guys that uh, the truck that I was in, which is the two-ton, as a, a city carrier, sometimes you deliver mail. Sometimes they have you actually doing what they call collections, where you go pick up uh, mail from different businesses pick up the outgoing mail from the blue boxes at certain times and you have to scan the blue boxes and You just basically pick up mail Sometimes they'll have you deliver mail in the beginning because you don't have to pick that you have to wait to a certain time to pick the boxes up in my area We pick certain blue boxes up at three and a few businesses at three and then we pick up certain boxes at four And then we have some more businesses at 4 p.m. That we go pick up so um you know, so for the last couple of, or for, actually for the last week, you know, it was about two days last time I posted a video, I took you guys along with me. I was on my break and I just uh, got in the truck and just kind of showed you guys what the two ton looks like, you know, cause I know that's a vehicle that a lot of people aren't familiar with. It's something I don't believe I had ever seen prior to uh, look, uh, working for USPS. But if I did see it, I wouldn't, you know, I wasn't synchronized to it, so I wasn't uh, paying attention to it anyway, but it looks like a FedEx truck, basically, or a UPS truck. It's like a two-ton vehicle. So anyway, I've been doing that. If you guys haven't, uh, if you guys are new to the channel, then, you know, you'd have to go watch my prior videos to see exactly my experience, because my experience is different than a lot. Even though I am a city carrier assistant, my experience has been different. I did a lot of clerk work, I'm, you know, up until last week, or up until this week, actually, I, I was still doing clerk work for the majority of my time in the office, even though I am a CCA. And a lot of people, well, it's not a lot of people, but it's called cross-crafting, where you're doing somebody else's job and you're not, you know, that's not what you signed up for. Um, so anyway, so for this past week, we actually got a new, a, a couple of new um, clerks in. So we have two new clerks. One comes in early in the morning and then one comes in around the time that I, well, you know, a little bit before the times I was coming in. In my past videos, I also told you guys about my, you know, situation with my hours, and I haven't been getting a lot. They'll have me come in at 11 and 1 o'clock a lot of the times, and, you know, sometimes they'll call me in early. It seemed like they were, I don't know, it seemed like they were trying to, like, catch me off guard and, you know, get me slipping, so uh, coming in later, because they put me on the schedule for a certain time, and every single morning, you know, early in the morning while, you know, people are still asleep, I'm getting texts and stuff. You know, in, in, in academy or whatever, they'll tell you sometimes that'll happen, but they also tell you that you don't have to answer your call because you pay that phone bill and it's, it's a personal line and you're not on call. So it is what it is. I was, I've always been on time. I, that, that has never been an issue. But, you know, so the girl comes in, you know, around the time that I'm starting to come in lately since I've been doing the two-ton and doing the collections, I've actually been coming in a little earlier this week. They had me on schedule for 10 a.m. And you know that's the earliest I've actually been coming in, so that's pretty cool. You know everything's going good now. Like you know it's much better. Like the reason I did sign up for it is so I could be out in the environment and you know getting out, being active and stuff. So you know this is right in my alley. You know I'm loving doing the two ton. What you do, you know when we're in the two ton, we go um, pick up man. I, you know I'm sidetracked right now. I forgot exactly what I was going to talk about. I'm tired as well. It's extremely late. I just wanted to make a video. So I can stay true to my word about you know getting back in the channel and not abandoning it. But anyway, so in the two tone, what we do? Um, I come in today. What I did was I came in. They actually let me act, deliver a route today. What well, they they took an hour off of it. When you're with the USPS delivering mail, they they I guess section things off in like time frames. So like three stops or three CBUs, they'll call it either an hour, or hour and a half or something. They'll just you know, that's the time that it's supposed to take to do that. So they'll tell you, you need to take, he told me, uh, well, I'm going to give you the full route, except we're going to take an hour off the beginning. So that was three stops at the beginning, but I did the rest of them after that. It was a nice route. I had done like the three stops at the end of that route prior. So I kind of knew the area and I had, you know, they finally let me like deliver some packages. And on Amazon Sunday, I also, you go to that area and deliver packages. So I was able to learn the streets a little bit so that I wasn't too lost. I still got, you know, turned around when I was delivering packages today because I don't know the streets that much, but I kind of knew where I was at, so I was able to get some of them off and, you know, um, organize everything in a way where I would have things at the beginning. In the two-ton, like, I showed you guys on that last video, like, their um, trays are there, like, 
little, yeah, I guess trays or, you know, whatever that you, not trays, I can't think right now, I can't think straight, but you know, it, they're little decks or whatever that you can put stuff on, like, they come down, they collapse, just like in the LLV, the um, vehicles that we drive, they have these little things that collapse and you can put the uh, tubs and stuff on top of them. So, you know, you can organize everything from the order that it comes, the streets that it comes in. If you kind of know the routes, you have to know the area and know the routes to be able to organize that. And that's something that you get with repetition if you don't already know your area. And even if you do know your area, I'm sure there are a lot of little streets and coves and uh, cul-de-sacs and all that other stuff that you might not know. But anyway, so I, I went out today and I, you know, went, they, they cased the mail for me still. I still haven't been able to case the mail, but I did that entire route and I was able to still do the collections. I came in at 10 today and, you know, the collections in my area start at 2. There's one business we have to pick up at 2 and then we go 3 and 4 for the other businesses. So I was able to finish that route, you know, which was a good thing because, like I said, I hadn't done all of those stops for the route but you know they printed me out a um they'll have these like uh spreadsheet printouts of like if you're looking at the mail you can look at your first address or whatever and you can see what the address is and then they'll have a printout for where that cbu starts which is the community box they'll have an address for where that starts if you're just looking at mail and you're pulling up to the house doing a um a mounted uh delivery then you know the first address you can just go there uh, Obviously, you can just go there and follow the mail. That's what they call it. Just follow the mail, especially if you have, in older neighborhoods, they'll have, like, the matter routes where the mailbox is, you know, right on the uh, sidewalk or the curb or whatever, and you can just pull up to it and deliver. But in my area, most of these routes aren't like that. There are a few of them that are like that, but, you know, most of them are. So we pull up to the CBUs, like, at apartments and the CBUs in, in the uh, communities with the HOA and all that or the new type subdivisions. So anyway... You know, I went out there, I can't even remember where I was at, but I went out there and delivered that mail, did those routes, and I was able to, you know, finish it in time, even though that was my first time. I, you know, I don't know, they, a lot of the times they say, you know, they, they try to rush you. Like, things have been changing recently. Ever since I got out of my 90 days, they haven't been, like, trying to rush me as much. It seems like they put you through a hazing period or, like, some sort of, you know, earn your stripe type period. But, you know, I, you, you just got to go in there and let them know that <laughs> we had some, there were some issues that we got resolved, it seems like, you know, I'm still, I, I don't know, I'm still skeptical about everything, but everything's good, and, you know, I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm, I'm cool with progress, and, you know, as long as you're not bothering me, messing with me, acting like I'm doing something wrong, like they tried to do, you know, yeah, I come in on time, I'm dependable, as they tried to say I wasn't, you know, but we got that resolved, so... Right now it is what it is, you know, where they got me going, doing the two-ton training. So after I did the delivery route, you know, the, the uh, city route that I did, I went and I had to do the collections. So the collections, like I said, we just go to different businesses. Um, we started one part, it's right by the post office in my area. I'm not sure how it is in all the other areas. I'm sure bigger cities, have, you, probably, you might do a whole lot more. But in bigger cities, they have a lot of different stations. So they cover a certain region of that city. But in my town, you know, we're, we're a little smaller, so it's only two stations here. So each of us cover one, uh, one side of the highway. You know, one station covers the east side, one covers the west side of the highway. Our highways run up, it's I-35, it runs north and south. So anyway, so I went and did the collections, you know, and I, I, I don't know, I just like, you know, the collections is like the most laid back thing, really like, Delivering mail, you know, if you're going to be a, a CCA, like it is a lot to learn. It's a learning curve that you have to go through in order to be able to cater. So some people catch on to it easier. Some people, you know, it takes them a little longer. It's an easy thing. With repetition, it's most definitely easy. Like you learn the streets. Like I, in, in my uh, opinion, the delivering the packages, like because you can just take the mail to the boxes, like that stuff gets easy. Like if you case for like one or two days, you're going to learn the casing route for, you know, it, you might have to case different routes, but, you know, one or two days on each route, you'll learn those routes. And when it comes to delivering mail, like going out there one or two times, you're going to, like one, two, three times, you're going to go out there and learn it. Um, like, but, like delivering packages, like finding out what order they're in and delivering, delivering them to the actual door instead of like taking them ones that you know won't fit in the uh, parcel boxes or parcel lockers or whatever or can't fit in the mailbox. Like if you can learn how to, just learn the streets and learn the addresses and how they, you know, go in chronological order or whatever. Go from low to high or even to odd or how they do it, what side is on which, evens on this side, odds on that side, you know, all the 
you know, definitely you're gonna learn a lot of stuff working this job. Really, like you're gonna look at streets and look at neighborhoods in a totally different manner than you normally do because, like, learning which what area you're in. Because, like, once you cross a certain street, say you're on the 500 block, once you cross a certain street, it turns to 600. Cross another street, it turns to 700. So it continues to go up. So you learn that type of stuff. And you can just deliver packages as you go so you don't pass up the door and go to the box and then have to circle all the way back around and start delivering packages like running wild. So anyway, that's one thing like, you know, if you're going to be doing this, that's one thing that you need to keep your mind on. You can learn about that. But anyway, so I, I just went and I don't know, I just, it, it's getting nice, man. And like I said, I'm just rounding right now. I just wanted to come to you guys and cut a video tonight and let you know how the day went. Tomorrow we have Amazon Sunday. But I just wanted to let you guys know how the uh, collections have been for me because they finally put me out on that. And it, it, it is getting a lot better in here. Like, you know, just me changing up my mental and, and, and focusing on the positive is, is helping out a lot too. Because, you know, working in this job, it is, you know, a stressful environment, especially on Mondays. A lot of people are in here upset. So it's like, if you let yourself fall into that, you know, or you let some people are just, you know, come at you. It's a lot of different personalities. Some people, you know, just, are having a bad life outside of work and you know just they bring it in to work with them and you know you can let that affect you or you can just get paid and go home and mind your business and that's what a lot of people say in the comments and i appreciate all you guys in the comments all you guys subscribing excuse me i just ate and i ate too fast but all you guys in the comments and uh subscribing and liking the videos i appreciate that but you know i've been getting some good advice from you guys in the comments um and if you're watching this and you know, you're, you're looking for answers and you're looking for you know, advice and trying to see if this job is for you or not, just you know, go down and read in the comments and see, because a lot of people that you know, do watch the videos and comment are actually employees already or people are going through the process and all of that. So you know, just go down in the comments and you can probably get some of the uh, answers to the questions that you're you know, looking for. If I can't answer them, I'm sure somebody down there can, or like I said, if, if, if I, you ever have a question for me, just put it down in the comments. I try to get to all my comments and you know, reach back out to everybody. I, I just, you know, I, I just want y'all to know that I do appreciate you watching. So, you know, I do try to answer back to all the comments. You know, I, I don't always have time, but if, you know, I don't get to you soon, I, I, most definitely I will try to, and I, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I'm most likely going to for now before they get, you know, too outrageous, but I'm most definitely gonna be getting back to y'all. But anyway, like I said, I'm rambling right now. I appreciate y'all watching. My, my like time or my watch time is probably gonna go down on this video. But I'm gonna get back to y'all tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna let you guys know about Amazon Sunday. I don't think I've done a video like that yet. Um, and I, like I said before, I'm gonna let you guys know. I was trying to wait till I got more hours in so I could you know, show you guys a, a, a paycheck with 40 hours. So, you know, but I'm just gonna let you guys see raw, real, and uncut how it is for me. Everybody's experience is going to be different. I'm going to show you guys how my experience is going. So anyway, with that, I'm about to, you know, get out of here. I don't want to stop on the 1313, but with that, I'm going to get out of here. And uh, I appreciate y'all watching again, man. Y'all take it easy.